Welcome back to the devlog. It is 2023. The fall semester has begun and we've got our first little puzzle to look at. We're going to look at an outlining technique in full screen for Unity URP renderer. And we're going to try to apply a little twist to it, which is we only want to outline certain objects. Our characters are going to be outlined and the rest of the scene is not. So how about, you know, I guess, why? Why, why would we do that? Um, that? That's a classic old school animation technique that you'll see in uh, you know, lots of old films where the background images would be static uh, paintings that are not inked, that are not outlined. And then the characters are, the, are cells that are laid on top of that. And of course, those are inked. And so they have outlines on the cells. And, and you get a look like this. So how do we do that in Unity? Well, you know, first of all, if we outline the characters individually in the geometry using a shell technique, but frankly, the shell technique does not look as good as the full screen outline technique. So we want to use the full screen technique, but we want to somehow avoid doing objects that we haven't flagged to specifically outline. So here's my little test scene that we'll be trying to apply the outline only to this character. Well, first things first is this dev team has already followed a tutorial and I will link that down in the description right there uh, to follow along and apply outlines. Uh, the crash course summary here is that they've got um, a shader graph to apply a full screen pass and the meat of the shader graph links to this custom node, which takes us to HLSL to do the actual outline. Uh, and the details of how this is accomplished will be in that tutorial that I link. So let's turn on that full screen pass and see outlines using this full screen outline technique. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that looks pretty good, right? Um, we got nice outlines. We have outlines uh, not only around the outside of the character, but also within the character, wherever there's a sharp edge inside the character. Um, but yeah, we're also unfortunately outlining the tree edges, not only the trees themselves, but within the tree edges. And that's, that's both the pro and the con of this full screen technique. The the pro is we want to get, for, for objects that we want to show as inked, we want to show these internal lines, but we don't want that tree to even have lines. And if it's a full screen technique, how do we do that? Uh, and so it turns out that's actually pretty simple little problem to solve. What we're going to do is we're going to first render all the objects that need to get outlined. Then we'll insert the full screen pass to do the outlines. And then after that, we'll render all the things that are not supposed to get outlines. Um, and that by doing it in layers, um, we're, you know, we are imitating the true cell shading technique. And we're also then, uh, you know, going to get the look that we want. Let's take our character and put our character onto a new layer called outline objects, just a new layer. And we will take, and it's not the camera, it is the camera's URP settings that we want to go to and filter in the filtering section, turn off, turn off everything except the outlined objects. And now, since the full screen pass has already been inserted, and I believe that tutorial shows you how to do that, um, so I'm not going to go into that, but We'll insert the, the full screen pass. Boom, we got it. Great. Only we don't see the rest of our stuff. Then the, the question is, well, <laughs> what about the background? How do we get the background in here? Um, turns out it's really easy. We're going to add a renderer feature, render objects. And for this one, we're going to set the layer mask to everything except outlined objects. And that will render our background pass. And so this is what we've ended up with. And I think that looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, all right, so that's it. Quick one, um, 
super easy in the end to set that up. But uh, as always, the hard part is finding all the pieces that you need uh, to make it work. All right, I'll see you next time.